Hey guys, I'm Janet Occasion, and today we are carrying on with our Changeling campaign, and we might head over to Cafe this episode. It depends. I want to get some uh, Chosen in this army, which uh, we are on our way to, right? I think. Not that building. This one, right? No. Who is that building? Oh yeah, there we go. All those recruitments of uh, Chosen. Sorry, I looked at the Kale Sorceress thing and thought, oh, this is the Sorceress building. Not the Chosen, but it's the Chosen building. Um, so yeah, we're going to get some Chosen uh, fairly soon in this army and ship them off to Cathay. It's going to be a very scary army. We're also waiting for uh, Mr. Helbras to join him as well, which he's got plenty of time to reach before he goes off. And uh, the Changeling finally heading to Old Dorf, though we are going via Griffinwood, I reckon. Uh, and I guess McCarthan as well. And anything on, on route, to be honest. Anything on the way. Because um, we might as well. We might as well. There's there's no harm in attacking places. In fact, it's a big uh, bonus for us to attack places because it means that we can establish a cult and then we become invisible so we don't have to worry about being threatened in any way. Um, so that's nice. That's nice. Although we are invisible and suffering attrition right now, which is a bit annoying. Oh, brilliant. We have another trickster cult. That is spreading very successfully. Big fan. Uh, okay, so more money from Castle Alexandrinov, and we were gonna we can do the same thing uh, over here. I also want more supplies. So there we go. That's looking pretty good, and uh, that's the one that spreads it. We'll do the parasitic one. It's more successful, and yeah, hopefully that'll spread to even more places further afield. Pretty the same over here, actually. Build one of those. Uh, can't right now. We spent all our money. I think it's probably better that I build that over here first. I want to spread to these neighbouring areas. Because Cracker Track does have gems that probably earn a fair bit of money at some point. But it looks like uh, Shiot Track is doing quite well already. So that's good. Uh, also, nope, still, still has that bloody Skaven Plague. It's halving our income from here. It's very annoying. Ah, oh, we got the we got the tier three now, which is amazing. Love that. Okay. Uh, Bacuffin is right here, but it's very well poorly defended, but with a lot of units. And I guess it does have some halberdiers and things in there as well. Yeah. Oh, I don't really need to turn into you anymore. Or be a better one to turn into. Uh. Honestly, like, vampire counts do threaten this neighbourhood every now and again. Uh, Helfen is in Ostermark, isn't it? No. Uh, well, there it is. Okay, it's on the border, but it was a, it was a battle between them, if I recall. Um, Pandemonium is my name. Yeah, let's just get some replenishment in. We have very good replenishment. Oh, we got one in Mordheim as well. Nice. That must spread from what? Needling? Must have been. Cool. Alright, well, I'll sort that out in a second then. <laughs> like, I like that it's spreading. It might just spread to Gryffindor without us having to do anything. But we're probably going to head down there anyway, so. And killing Dreitcher might be good. We'll be able to become her, which would be nice. You know, another face for the collection. And yes, Randall can go um, hang out down there. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Plague stopped? Plague stopped. Awesome. Okay, that's good news. We've got, what, a banner of change? Summon to units of chaos spawn. Cause severe damage to combatants. Do you cast this on somebody? Yeah. Yeah. It, uh... Let's see. One use has a cooldown, so it's going to take 120 seconds to become active. Uh, we'll just immediately kill whatever it is, provided it's not a lord or hero. So... It doesn't say if it's an active ability or if it's an automatic one. Might be might be a, a, a active ability we have to target. Possibly, but it might be passive. It might be like, um, because this is basically the same thing that Morgan the Shadowgate has, which is really cool. So I really like that. It's something that we can just have equipped. That's very fun. Scheming. 
Uh, I give it to Modra Bob. Oh, although it's a banner, isn't it? So actually, it needs to be on a unit, which is interesting. Okay, what's good? Hang on. Campaign line of sight, I'm not that fussed about. That'll do. Awesome. That's really cool. That's really fun. But anyway, so we did that. Um, so saturated is this banner with the power of change that it distorts the world around it, turning man and beast to revolting degenerative spawn. Very cool. And Zavastra we can nab some more money out of, though I think I might want to kit out some of these areas first. Uh, that's still earning almost nothing, which is very disappointing. I really need the Skaven to get that back. I really do. Alright, you can start spreading some more. Let's get some more cult supplies and grimoires. We have a ludicrous amount of grimoires. We don't have that many changing of the ways that we can do. Um, is there any benefit to spreading more corruption? I have no idea, but I'll do it anyway. Imagination stemming from the changeling has led to an explosion of Sinchi and corruption in the area. You know, for, for the japes. Hello there. Uh, we will actually lose a ton of units if we just auto-resolve this, so we are going to have to fight it. Um, let's give this to... I don't think they do give it to the scribes, to be honest. Um, although the Mutalith Vortex Beast, I think that would be amazing if it's giving that buff, uh, sort of hinting at the idea of it mutating, um, you know, sort of nearby allies. With, with various gifts of chaos. But also, we're just turning enemies into mutants as well as we go. I think that was very, very fun. So we'll give it to him. I think that'll be... That'll be a laugh. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Let's do some killing. Ah, oh, you guys will fly. It's a hell of a gang, isn't it? Terrifying bunch. Hell of an air force. Right, let's get you lot lined up. Um, I mean, no matter where we go, it sort of doesn't matter, because... Um, they're, like, they're, they're not going to be at the gates, are they? They're going to be hidden somewhere. Alright, you go hang out over there. Uh, what's about you guys? Okay, you can run in two. Uh, yeah, I guess yeah, you go that one. Got our flamers, and then of course we have uh, our air force that I didn't group for some reason. Keep you guys on your toes, I suppose. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Man, I just love these buildings. So cool, so cool. Those sections of like city wall sort of baked in as well. Like, everything has to be leaning towards the defensive. You never know when you're going to get invaded. Oh, well, that seems to be doing well. And I really want to start... Oh, wow. Okay, immediate banishment. <laughs> Burning heads. Shield of thorns. Net of Amantok. Dwellers below. And Sinch's firestorm. These are some pretty... All, uh, spells right now. Alright, Burning Head. Let's go. Scribe's gonna give it to you. And, yeah, new spells. <laughs> oh my god, it changes all of them every time. That's really good. Alright, let's go absolutely demolish Grindley Hurtwigans. Alright, well, in you get. In this glorious madness, do descends. Uh, no. No, that's all wrong, actually. No, I, ju I just want you to walk through this one. Okay. In you get, boys. Let's see. Teacher's Firestorm might be nice. You know, Barona's Time Warp is very, very good. I do very much like that. Casting that and maybe our Cockatrice. Mm. 
91 um, melee attack. Should hit really well. And, oh. See me, I just clicked that expecting it to just activate for some reason. Alright, um. Yes, you lot start moving in. Uh, let's, let's turn you into. This is Vlad, right? I landed on Vlad. Pretty sure. That's, pretty sure that's who I landed on. Oh, and you can use this inside combat as well. I like that. That's nice. I already hate it when they give you sort of those kinds of abilities, you know, breath attacks and stuff, and you have to be outside of combat to use it. It's, like, really annoying. Okay, this guy just isn't getting attacked by anything, is he? Or is he? I, mean, I really, really have no idea. Let's just get out of here. Oh, yeah, they got absolutely slaughtered, as you'd expect. Uh, they're just chilling, which is nice of them. Okay. Um, let's hit them. And let's hit these guys, too. Oh, no, nope, they're trying to run. Uh, oh, wow, I got regrowth. God, that's good. Oh, let's use regrowth on on Modrobob. Awesome. Really good. Uh, <laughs> hey, Vlad. Here you get Vlad. <laughs> Zeech demons? What are you talking about? You're crazy. It's not Zeech demons. It's the undead, silly. Okay, they're all running in. Doing fine. He's having a great time. Uh, so that guy's still not dead somehow. God, our barriers aren't even dropping on most of our boys. Alright, charge him. And... Yeah, try and get them with a, with a spell. And there we go, zombies. See, look at the zombies all along. See? Just good old zombies. <laughs> this is very sad, sorry. Alright, in you get, lads. In you get. In you get, lads. In you get, lads. Alright, scribes. Alright, you guys have fun. You guys are yeah, you guys are great time. This is almost cheating at this point. Uh, you guys are shouting cloven ones, which doesn't seem completely accurate, but that's fine. Yeah, I'll take it. Unless I clicked on them as well by accident. Uh, so we killed their lord. Killed their lord. That's good news. Uh, I guess I don't want the cockatrice to run all the way over there, do I? Alright, you seem to have having a good time. Uh, Awakening of the Word. Good spell. Oh, did you see the blinking eyes there? Oh, that's so satisfying. And yeah, they seem to be getting hit by quite a bit. Nice. Uh, oh, I can overcast this, though they're not as clumped up as I'd like. So maybe that would be a mistake. Oh, barriers falling on them. Treason of Zinch. Hey, Fars Protection would be pretty nice. Maybe on them. Oh, here comes the cockatrice. Alright, in you go, boys. In you go. Alright, they're thinking about coming in. They're not thinking too hard. Alright. Good, you've terrified. No, you go for them too. He's actually taking a bit of damage now. I don't like that much. Rather he didn't. Lad, come on, man. Get stuck in. Uh, oh my god. Yep, yep. We just turned we just turned some of their allies into Chaos Spawn. That is so fun. Him just running in, doing all this damage, and then getting like Chaos Spawn back up. Also lightning. Just great times. I really, I really do enjoy this campaign's mechanics. Oh, I'm very happy that Siege feels so Siege right now. It does feel very Tsinchi. Alright, you're suffering a bit of damage there, which I don't like much. That's okay. 
I got the scribes on the case. Kind of the Roy King in the wood as well. Which, um... <laughs> they finished these units off. Nice. Okay, sadly... We're getting a bit low on magic. And you don't have anything for that, do you, lad? Oh! Oh, great swords coming in. Alright, so we got one of these. Uh, let's give that to... Uh, to Modra Bob. So we definitely want to deal with them somehow. Uh, yeah, I can use that on them. Cool. Minus 40 melee attack should definitely help. And we've got our flamers as well. Right, let's get you guys stuck in. And nice cheap spell to drop on top of them. And we can get some more magic. If there's anything left in the tank, which is um, debatable. Alright, I'll slow the melee attacks and all. With the cockatrice. Oh, yeah, you guys having a good time? That uh, Mutilith Vortex Beast needs to stop chasing them about. Also, the Chaos Spawn do eventually uh, disappear, which is sad, like all summons. Pity that. Pity. Why are you taking a bit of damage again? Let's pull you back. Um. Oh, they're right there. So yeah, there's nothing left of the tank, is there? Nah, no reserves left. Sad. Oh, you guys can come back in as well. <laughs> Losing track of units. I feel like it doesn't matter too much. We're sort of um, kind of crushing it. Alright, let's get Cockatrice out of there. Oh, there's army losses. There it is. I'm not surprised, just hewing through all of these cheap units. It really is a slaughter. Especially when you have, like... So, like, the barriers, right? Barriers are pretty good, obviously. But they're perfect in these situations where you have such, like, density of units. If they don't have, like, big AoEs that can just take advantage of that, then every time you're in melee, every enemy is fighting five other units. So every time they hit anyone, it's one of five things that has its barriers up. You know? So it just helps negate so much damage before any of them start actually being hurt by any individual hits. It's, um... Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Then, of course, you get the odd straggler, you know? You've got just clumps of people. Some get a bit damaged, sometimes they've just stood there like a lemon for a while, and they get the barriers back. So, yeah, it's, it's sort of brutal. But yeah, if they had some AoE abilities, or if they need to focus their ranged units, you know, make some little overwatch traps and things. But then... We do have a lot of flying units and spells to sort of shut down ranged units, so it's not that easy. But yeah, very fun, very satisfying. Terrific. Love it. Alright, let's get ourselves a symbiotic one, as usual. Uh, boop. Yeah, we'll earn, we'll earn a bit of money on it. Um, and more cult supplies? Yeah, sounds good. And Mordheim we can actually afford to give some things now. I guess we're going to have to use the parasitic one because this isn't earning anything and I'm not sure it ever will. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, I'm not going to do the spreading thing here actually. I don't think there's any point. I'm not sure there's any point. Um, improves relations with the settlement owner. I think winning over Dreitcher does sound like a good plan given the, the fact that she does sort of... Um, you know, lean towards chaos a little bit. You know, all in the interest of, of saving her forest. You know, very misled, is Dreitcha. So. The, change the one and only. Uh, let's see. Yeah, spells, right? I want to I wanna get over to Arcane Conduit. I think that's what I want. It's going to take a while to get down here, but... With these gifts, we have all the time in the world. Especially, especially being a Tsinchian um, unit. I have more than all the time in the world. I have no idea. Uh, spread control, does that do anything? Does that actually do anything? 
because we don't have any territory. So what? where would we be spreading control? I don't think that this affects, like, anyone that we're in. Any sort of territory. Anyone's territory that we are in. Ooh, hello. Extra campaign movement range of the hero's army. Hell yeah. Campaign movement range plus 40% when this hero is not embedded. Oh, so um, they are very fast when they're not embedded, which is kind of cool. Uh, blue horrors, pink horrors, and exalted pink horrors all get extra 600% barrier. And they all cause terror. And enemy leadership is minus 5 in the local province. That's crazy. Wow. Okay, well that's all amazing. And this one allows them to siphon winds of magic. That just makes them good at all their actions. And it makes their actions a lot cheaper. Uh, <laughs> squabble pros. Zirap and Paturix. To, you know, each other's nose backwards, in case uh, somehow you guys didn't notice that. Are not fleeting constructs driven to find entertainment or... Com uh, or combust. No, they are surly and cunning combatants with years of experience. Just makes them a lot better at fighting. That's fun. Um, adds blue flame explosions to the blue scribe's attacks. Cool. God, there's some cool stuff here. Puts up missile strength and ammunition. Good, just real cool stuff. I like these guys. I enjoy them. I think we're going to have a long and fruitful relationship. Also, we just moved into territory that we don't own. That's really annoying. I really I really hope they change this one day. Just the idea of attacking a settlement and then choosing the outcome and then your character just runs off in a random direction. I mean, it's not random. It's directly away, but... Like, why? Like, it, I just really wish it would give us the agency to move them somewhere that isn't completely absurd, like into another province. You know? That's real silly. Just all this weird incidental trespassing. It's, it's just bizarre. Very bizarre. Uh, so I can't afford any chosen yet. Uh, although I'm not sure I can even build any yet, can I? No, not yet. Alright, Hellbrass. Uh, let's also... I guess we get rid of the Marauders, right? I guess we do. And I think we'll get rid of the... Horrors as well. I think we'll probably keep the weird spawn and the you know, and the weird spawn actually I think would be nicer in the other army, but I'm not sure there's room for them. Shrieking the sky rays are kinda of nice though. I wonder. Yeah, we'll keep something big. We'll keep them. And the Zangors I think are fun to have with them, even though they are you know of the mutated variety, but they're new, they're new units. And I think just having a small contingent of beastmen with any army feels appropriate, you know. So that's cool. All right, well, you're done. Uh, you are done. Everybody's done. Federation. Incantations. Built some stuff. Our income's gone to 8k. That's really good. It really has blown up lately. Which, I think it's all down to this area. Although, Prague just got ruined by our allies. That's a bit annoying. Hopefully they'll go and make that work. You know, hopefully. And yeah, we are still going to build that building. They'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Um, do you need to even be spreading it right now? I mean, Norden is the only place to spread it. So actually, I'm not sure we even need this building. Like, at all. So I guess I get rid of it now. Might as well. Um, yeah, more cult supplies. Sure. And do I want to do some recruitment here? I'm quite tempted, actually. I mean, just getting this building built so we can get some, like, Chaos Warriors. If we do want to build a new army over here, I think that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, let's get you over here, past Bellacor's portal. Stupid portal, anyway. And uh, this might be a bit of a hassle. Very fun army. Okay, Griffinwood Base has nothing there, so if we dive on top of Dreitcher with our teleport stance, next turn we can probably wipe her out, turn into Dreitcher, and then attack them on the next turn. If they don't attack us first, you know, we'll see. We'll see. So I still can't get any chosen, that's fine. 
Um, but we do have Echo Telbrass there, so that's fun. And I guess that's it. What a boring turn. Okay, I don't like how quickly we're going through turns, because remember, we are on a, on a time restriction here. Although, depending on how the schedule's turned out, this might be past the next embargo anyway. I actually have no idea where we're at. But, whatever. Ignore me. It's just admin, isn't it? It's not your concern. Uh, a clock. Sorry, I'm terrible at riddles. Uh, let's go with... Ooh, I don't know. We can already become him. I mean, this is all he's got. I do wonder, do I want to start manipulating Az like Azazel? Because, I mean, it, I think Zinch is really the only one who is... Sort of like, the only Chaos God that's like so cunning that he's willing to manipulate the other chaos gods rather than just fight them you know at least on on the regular so i think being like yeah let's be friends mortals are hard don't worry we'll help okay uh <gasps> oh no an ambusher i'm sure we'll be fine um oh and there's been a confederation Thirst for blood. Okay, Randall is getting worse growth, worse leadership, but better casualty replenishment rate, and that's fine. Chosen aren't going to run because of minus two leadership, and growth is irrelevant. So, we're fine. So, greater locus of change. The squealing giggle of a single horror can sh uh, shred mortal minds to ribbons. This is why Great, uh, great Siege provides an ever-swelling legion of these whirling destroyers. So, it gives arcane mirth, which gives power recharge rate when you're out of melee, which is really cool. That's really nice to have. As these guys loiter in the back line, they'll just be batteries for our spells. Really nice. So, teleport. Um. So we're at war. And now we've ambushed them. It's so cheeky that we can do that. Although, oh my god, you can change it here. <gasps> How did I not know this? That's amazing. You get into a battle and you can just choose. That's so good. Oh, I love that. All right, who should fight Dreitcher? See, this is a bit sad, actually, because we have no beastmen we can turn into. We can't turn into, like, other wood elves. We don't even have any elves to turn into, actually. So that's a little bit sad. Because it would really be nice to just, like, feed her, um, you know, feed her sort of um, paranoia and... Just feed that consp like conspiracy brain of hers. Although she is a being of nature, and so is uh, Mother Rostankia. You know? But the wrong kind for Dreitcher, I'm sure. Ah, screw it. We'll just pollute the place, I think. There we go, Festus. Although Throt could be fun. Let's be Throt. Let's be Throt. Yeah, I think Skaven are a good, a good um, thematic counter to Dreitcher. You know, rats sort of like eat at the roots of of great trees and spread disease, and, and the Skaven especially are like just like masters of industry. So it's you know really the antithesis of of something devoted to nature. I suppose of nature, you know. Um. Oh, Freaking bears. Just, I love these armies. I love that they added bears to her roster. That wasn't a thing, you know, back in my day. Um, so Forsaken versus bears, I mean, I would absolutely pay to watch that. And we have the Mutalith of Vortex Beast. We have the Flamers of Zinch. Just good stuff all around, you know. And you guys weren't grouped. Oh my god, okay. Well, everything's ruined. Yep, that was some terrible grouping. Never mind. It seems like people are doing stuff. We're fine. Okay. Good stuff. Let's shoot that malevolent treeman. Alright, we're running out of barriers over on this side. 
And we are dealing with Dreitcher by the looks of it. Awaking to the woods just for the, you know, the sheer, <laughs> the sheer irony of using law of life to destroy all these trees. Okay, brilliant. Alright, what have you got at your disposal, huh? Uh, remolded. That has to be used on a clan molder unit. I can. Summon a bunch of rats, though. That's pretty exciting. Uh, I can't even find anything to attack over here anymore. Let's go fight these bears. Ooh, no, fight this tree. <laughs> Hi there. Hi there, fella. Are you going to turn into a chaos spawn? Please turn to chaos spawn. Oh, we already turned something into chaos spawn. That's sad. Alright, I'm leveling tree kid next then. We have our doom knights fighting bats. Not sure I like the bats' chances there. Now you can heal yourself, I guess. So yeah, Throck can't do much. That's okay. And alright, that tree's having a bad day. Which I am fine with. Alright, Doom Knights. Keep fighting these feral bears, please. I did tell you I'd, I'd pay to see this fight. Oh no, poor bears. It's one of those things where you're like, oh, I bet that would be cool. And then when you watch it, it just makes you sad. <laughs> There's no catharsis here. Oh dear. Oh, well. Lightning. There's lightning some, uh, some wolves. Yep, yep. Yeah, you better run. Tail between your legs. Alright, nailed it. Um, so there goes Dreitch's army. Okay, we've got a Scepter of Stability for some spell resistance that we can place on someone. I don't think we really need that. I feel like we get enough spell resistance anyway. From various bits and bobs. Uh, so there goes Dreitcher. And now we have these to deal with. We're immune to Athalora nutrition as well, which is perfect because we are headed down to uh, to Athalorin at some point. It's down to that theatre. I'm not quite sure if we'll be in Athalorin or just milling about in Bretonia, but maybe a bit of both. Certainly feels like we should go to, um, you know, become Dreitcher and run into the Athalorin and start causing havoc. Unless we can turn into Morgan. No, I doubt we'll bump into him. But that would be pretty cool. So a new form has been acquired, and we also got the Golden Griffin of Thergy. Lord of Change. Most powerful of the changes chosen confuses and beguiles before swooping in to give his enemies a bloody merciless mauling. Fun. And another familiar. Okay. Uh, more magic, eh? Fires of Change. Uh, what does that actually give us? I forget what the bonus is for that. Damage resistance for allies, that's right. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Modra Bob, uh, training, please. Blue scribes. You have no items. Um, helmet is good. You've got to give him two helmets, really. Uh, although glittering scales, lower melee attack might be fun. That would actually stack with the cockatrices minus ten, so we could actually get minus fifteen melee attack on enemies, which would be pretty hilarious. Um, there's a warp mirror over there. Um, these are pretty rubbish ward saves, but better than no ward save at all, I suppose. Ooh, that's a better one. Alright, yeah, let's start stacking ward saves on you. No, no, I like glitching scales. I think it's more fun. And ancillaries. There are none. No spare ones. Uh, so I guess just the relic sword is fine. Um... And Scepter of... St uh, of... Uh, stability here, because actually we could cast that on someone that we're about to cast a big spell on. Also, look at this guy's derpy face. <laughs> hey guys, ride on my back. <laughs> oh, silly sod. Alright, anyway. Um, and we don't have any other enchanted items. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, we didn't level them up though. Uh, can't be bothered with that one, that's a bit boring. Um, but I definitely want these squabble pros. And I also want to get... Okay, so you need one more from here. Let's go with... Gur. And then... 
Yin and Yang might be fun. Rat magic, demon magic. Let's go demon magic. Let's get Lord of Hashut and Nurgle and Slanesh. I think that's more fun to, to bother uh, these guys with. Um, do, 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 who is I going to go with? Richard. There we go. Cool. All right. Uh, you can can get some chosen. Excellent. Uh, so I think we're going to go with just normal chosen rather than halberds. I think we have enough like anti armor, anti large. I think we just need something just horrendously stocky that's just going to refuse to buckle. You know. In fact, I might even get rid of one of these, because I kind of like the other nonsense I've got going on right now. So let's get another unit of Chosen. Because also, um, doing it this way, splitting up the halberds and the, um, you know, just sword and board as different tiers, it means if I see sword and board, I know that it's Chosen. If I see a halberd symbol, I know that it's a Chaos Warrior. So it, it helps sort of, helps manage that on the battlefield, knowing sort of what I have. Um, around, because that can be a bit annoying for some factions, I find. Some factions are, um, like, more than one tier will have the same symbol, so you end up with some confusion, which I don't enjoy. Uh, yeah, see, he knows. Not likely I'd enjoy that. Okay. Okay. I'm a bit concerned about Azazel coming down here and taking Erengrad, because Erengrad, I don't think, can look after itself at all. Um, and so my income. Azazel could drop my income by a just astonishing amount. And I'm not sure I want that. Yeah. Might be tricky. I'll have to keep an eye on that one. Um, should I be fueling these rats. I really just want them to go back to help it and just hang out there. That's what I really want. No, I want to click on that, silly. Uh, so all of this is earning us a smidge of money. Nothing much. Okay, I think we're done for this turn. So let's have a look at our technology first, because we do need to do that. Give to mutations for marauders. Oh, hang on. And Zangors. Yeah, let's give 10 armor for Zangors. I want them to be a bit more useful or longer, just because they're cool units now. Okay, moving on. A new regional power. Following a string of impressive victories, the Western provinces become a major power. It is imperative for us to make plans to deal with them, either with overwhelming military force or cunning diplomacy. So this is really cool. So this has been um, this is a mechanic lifted from Troy, actually. I'm very glad they've done this, actually. This is really good. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be when a faction gets very large, it turns that into your more like di more directly into your adversary. Um, and even if you're sort of ignoring that, you can at least sort of know that there's narrative happening, that factions are growing and diminishing over time, and you can actually get, a, get an impression of it. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, Norden now has a trickster cult. Apparently we didn't even need that. Was it one of the... I guess one of these had the right building for that. Alright. You can refuse all you want, mate. It's not going to do you any good. Okay. And, yep, Wolfenberg is already upgrading the right direction. Good. Good, good, good. Do we want to build some more recruitment buildings? I mean, I could just build the transmogrification locus or all the the sparks just so I get this stuff um, you know these better units from global because we are earning quite a lot of money nowadays we don't really need to be spending all this money on infrastructure With oh drive is back okay so I think we're just gonna attack these guys though I wonder are going to come as reinforcements, then? Is that, is that what's happening? Oh, he's got Coedil. That's cool. I'm almost tempted to teleport on top of these guys and ambush them, too. So much so that I'm doing it. And I'm doing it as Dreitcher, so... <laughs> yeah, you think you're friends. Don't. You don't. She's, she's, a, she's, she's a bad tree. 
So you guys should start bickering. They're not going to. There's no mechanic for him actually being convinced that Drycha is at the host, you know, at the head of a demon host. There should be. That would be great. But might be a little complicated. We can pretend. Um, I was going to auto resolve that. Timber. Can we turn into Coadil? Because he's a he's a legendary hero, right? That would be pretty cool. I killed Azu and Dulas and get a uh, cut the end of the wild. And we got a pendant. Oh, really? You can't turn to Godil. Oh, they should you let you do that. They really should let you do that. Okay, apparently I can still move for some reason, but not attack. That's odd. Oh. Alright, fine. Uh, we're going to stay there, though. I don't think Dryde can reach us this turn. Uh, let's get you Treason of Teach. That's the... Um, Really? You're not going to tell me what the spell is? I'll hover over the spell. It's very silly. I have to use nested um, things for that. But yeah, minus 16 leadership. Cool. Alright, that'll do. Uh, but yeah, you should be able to turn to Coadil. I, I don't know why you can't. I have to report that. Pretty sure you're supposed to be able to turn into all the legendary heroes, and he is one. He is one. And if he is classed as something else for some weird reason, he shouldn't be. Uh, elf magic, of course, because we're fighting elves. That feels right. Okay, good. Uh, we are getting mad replenishment again, of course. Lord not moved? Nope. But he can. Okay, this is awesome. I guess we're going off... Yeah, we're going to go off to um, Cathay. Traverse the rifts. Well, I know he entered it. I want to see where he ended up, silly. <laughs> Why are you showing me the change of game? Come on. Come on, game. Oh. Does he take a couple turns to get spat out? Does do the rifts work like, um... Like the, the thingamajigs? They were a bird of destination rift the following turn. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. So I guess it works like the, um... Uh, travel doohickeys. You know the ones. You know, the travel doohickeys. The doohickeys for travel. Okay, so uh, we are kind of crushing it. We'll be in Cathay uh, next turn, which is really cool. And we are about to infiltrate the Griffinwood, which will make us a bunch more money, and we can head to Reichland uh, to go to Altdorf so we can get a steam tank and also, you know, a cult in Altdorf, which would earn us a fair bit of money, and finally do this major scheme. Cool. I'm proud of us. And if you're proud of me too, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.